Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. This is a brief tutorial on how to use Gang project software. This may come in interest of my fourth year capstone design students as well as uh, my first year APSI 170 engineering fundamental students at UBC Okanagan. Uh, in previous lecture, we talk about how to manage a project and we mentioned that one of the major uh, steps in managing a project is breaking the project to several smaller projects, activities and it's called tasks. So these tasks, they have to be well defined, they should have a duration, we should allocate resources to tasks and also we have to create dependency. It's very important when we break down the project and again the technical term is WBS, work breakdown structure, we have to define these tasks in a way that they are clear enough. Now, uh, there are several softwares including Microsoft Project uh, with which you can manage your project. They are sophisticated, some of them are more commercial. Uh, but I came across to know a software, uh, an internet, uh, it has all the bells and vessels, it's very versatile, it's easy, very easy to use, and last but not least, the price is right, it is a free software, and the name is Gang Project. So, in order to locate that, we just Google it, uh, just type Gang Project, one word, and you can simply download that so just here Gantt project the website I believe is www.gantproject.biz biz so you just click here and you can simply uh, download and install it and if you do that you end up uh, getting a window like this. This is the newer version is 2.01. Uh, uh, just cross this. Now let's go back here and this is a uh, actual uh, gank chart you know step by step using Microsoft Project. I try to simulate the exact same uh, structure on gank project. So we have uh, a project which is basically building a residential perhaps rancher. Uh, so start from clearing the site, uh, lay foundations, put up walls, put on roofs, installing electrics and installing plumbing. Then we do the painting, uh, landscaping, and finally is the last stage, which is just finishing. You know this combination of all together. So let's just start to making this on our gang uh, project. Okay, so first go here, press new, and I call it building um, rancher. Oh, let's call it the UBC Okanagan and you can put some description go to the next so in this stage step two of three uh, basically you have two choices choice number one is you set as a default and in this stage only what you do is defining the roles of the participant or group members if it's default you might have two choices you have undefined or project manager However, if you're developing a software, so in that case, you have more choices. As you can see, there are about eight or nine choices. So you can click here or the other one. So it doesn't matter. So in this case, let's just click on this and have everything. The next step is uh, defining the number of the working days on a week. So if you are students, you don't have any days off. So as if you're a professor, if not, you just click these two, so you have five working days. Moreover, you can go and simply select uh, the country you are in, so it has all the statutory holidays building uh, in. 
so we have Canada here and now we are ready to uh, roll so we have two icons here and you can see one is Gantt and the other one is resources so what we do we go to the Gantt here and all I do here I click this button here it says new task so my first task was uh, clearing the site so clearing uh, site the next task is lay foundation the next one is put up walls the next one is put on roof then we have install uh, electrics then we have install plumbing then we have painting and we have landscape you might want to have one more as a finish uh, it's not really necessary sometimes you want to have milestone but this is simple so as you did it here you can see that you have here eight tasks and each of them of course they have duration of one so the next step obviously is here you have to have the duration changes so here this is the list that we have so we try to follow the same thing here so for this one uh, let's go back here the durations are so it's two three one one and a half two one 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 and zero so it's two the next one is three next one is one and a half Then is one, uh, the cooling roof, I believe it was two. Sorry, the cooling roof is one and a half, two, and then all the next three is one. So one and a half. Two, and the rest are one. So this is the step two. So define the duration. The next step is, and it's very important, is to actual creating the dependency. And we talk about it in our pre previous lecture. There are four possible dependency here. Uh, the dependencies are here. Can be done by either you select the, pro, uh, the task you can go here it's called task properties or you double click on any task here and that's what you get so you have the dependency in here so as a procedures so in this particular case so this is the first task so there is no dependency the next one which is laying foundation Obviously, it has a dependency, and the dependency is to clearing the site and it's finished to start. It means we have to finishing the clearing the site, and then we are able to lay the foundation. So that's here. So the next one is the putting the wall, and obviously the same dependency here. You can go and select here, lay the foundation, or simply. If you want to do it easier, and if this is a very simple, like the most logical is finished to start, if this is the link, you press the control, you select here, and then you select the next one that you want to uh, create the dependency, and then you go and click this link here, and it does automatically. Same thing with the roof, you want to create the same dependency. Oh, actually, I clicked the wrong button here. So I made a new task. So you click and control click and then click here. 
So this is the logical dependency here. So let's continue. So in terms of the electric, we have the same dependency here. I just click these two and uh, make the link. So as the plumbing, plumbing and roof, they have the same dependency. So we'll link it here. And now in terms of painting, so what we want is the painting has to be done after both installing electrics and installing the plumbing should be done. So in that case, I make the relation once here. And I make the same relation here with this, which is painting, and this the same link. And this is what happens here, right? You can see. So it means this can be finished only after both these tasks, tasks are finished. And for landscaping, I believe what we have here is landscaping can be done uh, after putting the roof on. So then the dependency is going to be here. So uh, I again make the same mistake here. So we don't need to add that. So we click here. We click putting on the roof and then click on links here. So this is the actual relationship that we have here. Now obviously one of the most important things in uh, having a gang chart is try to define the critical path, the path that we have zero slack, we have no float. So easily we can accomplish that here by simply pressing here this button. And as you can see that, this is what we have. So it means these two tasks that they are in lighter blue with no uh, dash. So these two tasks are the tasks that we can, we can have a slack. The rest of them, any of these, they are in the critical pad with zero float. Now, the next step here is assigning resources. When we talk about resources, we should think about more than only manpower. So we might call it money, space, tools, equipment, facilities, all of them, they can be a part of our resources. But in this particular case, we simply refer to uh, group members. And here, you just go and do the same thing. Click here, define a resource. I write here as student one. So student one, is the first resource. You can have the phone and uh, email and then you can even send an email here. You can define the day of or vacation. So let's just make it a little complex here and say that student one, uh, it has two days off from 12 to 14, so he or she is not available. Press OK here. So we can define the role also here. It could be project manager. Or could have any other roles we define that at the very beginning that we use the uh, developing software project it has more options so we make the next one I call it student number two and student number three let's assume there are three students involved in this project okay so the next step is to assigning uh, task to these students. So go back here so and you click here and you assign in these resources for example this would be student one hundred percent student two and a student three all of them should involve in this uh, clearing uh, the site. Obviously by doing that we already made a mistake because we realized that the student one, it has two days off, and as you can see here, we have the purple bar, which means 100% on the top of the yellow one. So something has to be done here. 